Well, hello, CBC Church family. I thought I'd put together this quick video clip just to let you know what's happening in the life of our church after the interesting few days that we've shared together. The really good news is that this coming Sunday morning, the 17th of October, we're going to be gathering together as usual at 9.15 and 11 o'clock. There will be physical in-person gatherings. We'll also be live streaming our service as usual at 11 o'clock on Sunday. Of course, if you choose to come along, uh, face coverings are still your personal choice. Uh, so we would encourage you, please do uh, join us if you feel able to. You may well be aware that last Sunday uh, we took the precautionary measure and it very much was precautionary to create something of a fire break in the life of the church. I'm so sorry that that impacted those of you who were hoping to be at sharing the journey on Saturday and also impacted those of you who otherwise would have joined us physically on Sunday morning. The reason our trustees chose to take that decision as a precautionary measure was that quite a large number of people in the life of the church were pinged as a consequence of being with us on the 3rd of October uh, during one of our morning services. The reason for that is we are aware that somebody who was asymptomatic at the time of joining that service uh, later tested positive, which is the reason why we all got pinged by the NHS Track and Trace app. The reason for putting the fire break in place was uh, in order to give time for one of two things to happen. Firstly, so that those who had been pinged could go off and get PCR checks done. I'm really pleased to say that the vast majority of people, 95% or more, who had PCR checks reported negative uh, COVID tests, which is really great news. But the other second thing that we wanted to happen was to give time for people to have symptoms come out if they were going to develop COVID as a consequence of being with us on the 3rd of October. I'm really pleased to share with you that there's no discernible or obvious link for those who have tested positive back to that weekend, uh, which was the weekend when most of us uh, ended up getting pinged. Of course, I would please encourage you to do pray for those people who have tested positive uh, as a consequence of having a PCR check, which includes a couple of members of our staff team and a couple of families in the life of the church as well. So please do be praying for those folk and individuals. Of course, if you are planning to join us this coming Sunday at 9.15 or at 11 o'clock, I would encourage you please to stay away if you're symptomatic. If you've got any of the COVID symptoms, please just stay away uh, for a weekend and consider getting yourself a PCR check so you can be sure uh, that you're not COVID positive. The really great news is that more than 30 PCR tests were done that we know of as a consequence of being pinged back on the 3rd of October. And as I say, there's no obvious link back to that service, which is a great reminder to us that our COVID precautions that are already in place are probably working quite effectively. So thanks for taking the time to listen to this quick video. Really hope that we'll see many of you in person on Sunday at 9.15 or 11. Failing that, please do join us for our live stream when we'll continue our journey of thinking about the Father heart of God. Hope to see you then. God bless you.